Good afternoon from the CBS 19 Newsroom. I'm Jamie Garrick. And I'm Justin Early. A teenager killed Sunday in a standoff with Longview Police has been identified. Relatives say 15-year-old Justin Aguilar was shot by officers in the 300 block of Avalon just before 6 Sunday evening. Police say the teen was a suspect in an earlier armed robbery at New Way Convenience Store at the corner of Avalon and Green Street. Police officers involved in that shootout are on paid leave tonight while Texas Rangers investigate the case. The suspect arrested for a baseball bat attack is still sitting in a Smith County jail. Rover Davis was arrested yesterday morning accused of attacking two people with a baseball bat at the Economy Inn in Tyler. Davis was charged with two counts of aggravated assault. A native Texan was among the 239 people on flight 370 from Malaysia to China that disappeared late last week. 50-year-old Phil Wood works for IBM in Asia. He was flying to Beijing for the last time before moving to Malaysia. The latest on the search for the missing plane tonight. Two men charged in a woman's death at P.T. Cole Park appeared in court today. The judge set a preliminary trial date on May 10th for 20-year-old Raheem Goldstein. The prosecution is still waiting on DNA evidence to come back from the lab. 19-year-old Dennis Bendy's trial date could be set tomorrow morning when he appears again in court. And as daylight saving time, have you feeling sluggish today? We'll show you how it could make one activity you do every day dangerous and how to deal with it. All that plus sports tonight on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6.